And I think what I've tried to do over the last four years is try and make some kind of a record of old wooden boats, either things that you see wrecked on the shoreline or um, boats that, wooden boats that are still being used. I mean, you know, if you go um, around, there's some pictures of the River Nile here where a wooden boat is still a useful object, you know. It hasn't been replaced by fiberglass yet. Um, other places like Portugal, and in particular Malta, you'll still get boats which are lovingly restored and kept and used, you know, used as work boats. But uh, um, the other side of it, the sail boats, um, I think those are just things of beauty. When you see a, a boat under sail, it's something very, very beautiful. Some of these really, I mean, they're all watercolour based, but some of them really pop out. They almost have this 3D effect. Did you approach each one with like a, a different way? Yes, I don't like to paint every single picture in the same style or in the same way. So I try to vary what I'm doing. And also, um, I've, I've sort of, I've learned a lot as I've gone along because um, I think that to master something like watercolour, it's not necessarily an easy thing. Um, and sometimes the painting takes you along. You don't take the painting along. Um, it is, it's not like acrylics or oils because you, you, you're very restricted in, in, in terms of not making mistakes because if you use the wrong color or you paint something of the wrong shade or tone, then really you've ruined the picture. You know, you can't go over and, uh, and rework it. <coughs> But the beauty of it is, is that you don't really need, at the moment I don't have a, a, a large studio, so you don't really need very much space to be able to paint watercolours, and they're very good when you're painting outdoors. And there's a price tag, so will people be able to purchase them? Oh yes, every one of them is, is, is on sale. Um, I've kept the prices down because I feel that um, art should be available to everybody. It shouldn't just be the domain of the rich, you know, it shouldn't be just a, oh, I can't afford to buy a, an original painting. I feel that, um, you know, if you keep your prices down, um, then it's accessible to everybody. Everybody can own one. And I think it's more, when you buy a painting as opposed to an object, it's something you've got for life. But you're also taking away a little part of the artist with you. This is more than just an object. It's um, a process the artist has been through, it's an original idea that he's conceived of, you know, and um, yeah, make great presents, all of them. <laughs>